NHS has realised that meaningful engagement with the public and patients helps to gain valuable feedback which will enable them to shape health services and improve access to these services. July 2010 saw the first annual festival of health and well-being hosted in the London borough of Hammersmith and Fulham by the local NHS. The festival encourages the community to voice their needs and concerns about their local health services, as well as coming along to find out how they can help to maintain their own health. The reason we're hosting this event is to actually kind of give back to local people. This is something that local people said they wanted to have. So we've uh, developed not just an information day, it's also about getting people's feedback about what they think about local health services. So we, we really want to begin to have a dialogue with our local residents about how we deliver services, but also how we spend money in, uh, in the NHS. The reason for having this festival today comes from conversations with people in the borough about what they want uh, to, to know about in relation to health, what you want to know. And the main reason the festival came about is because in our conversations with local people on estates and round about the borough and in part some of our services, people said that they wanted to know more about health, they wanted to have a chance to participate, join in, to influence it and they wanted it to be not just about illness. Uh, but about preventative health services, improve, improving health, as well as uh, dealing with illness. Uh, well, a friend told me about it, and obviously because I'm older and I'm interested, I want to stay healthy, and there was another friend that told me there was the exhibition on, so I just thought I might come and find out something that I don't know. I think this is a wonderful borough for what they do for you, health-wise, social-wise. We've got all sorts of things going on in our life. We're so lucky to live in this borough when I compare it with other people's boroughs. Yeah, we've just come to have a look to see what's available and maybe collect some more information that we didn't know about that's available in the borough. A lot of us don't bother about ourselves, so the more information we get, you know, there's lots of handouts and they're really useful. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I hope the residents of the borough are going to get lots of information about the health services that are provided because there are a huge range of health services and often people don't know what is available to them. Um, I also hope they're going to have a bit of fun. We've got lots of interactive sessions today, we've got a steel band on in the background, lots of displays, so I hope it's going to be a fun event. We've got key workshops targeted at different kind of audiences. So one is on spending in healthcare, one on young people, GP services, and also on kind of health inequalities in general. But we also have a, a large quiz the leaders type of event where uh, the key leaders within NHS in Hammersmith and Fulham are coming to actually kind of talk to the local residents. We use that money to buy GP services. We treat about a million patients a year in total. And that there is also a plan to chain and to close one of the rehab wards for elderly medicine. Can someone in the panel confirm if that's true and explain the fact? Uh, there were concerns about communication between various health bodies in the borough and uh, communities and individuals which I, I think then leads to people losing faith in the system because they're not communicated with appropriately. I think there were concerns about the, exper the patient experience, you know, what is it? It's like walking into a shop and being insulted, your experience is bad and I think there were concerns, actually genuine concerns, about how um, NHS staff can improve care in straightened circumstances. Well, I think the key points that we got out of today was that, were that first we need to communicate what we're doing better uh, in the NHS and that's about a number of things. Firstly, it's about making sure patients know uh, what their treatment is going to be, how their treatment is progressing, but also on some of these big decisions that the NHS has got to make over the next few months and years, people can make their voice heard 
they know what the issues are, they can really influence decisions. It's really important that the NHS speaks to local people and I think that everyone throughout the NHS has recognised that it's a real priority for us. It's the only way that we're actually going to get things right in terms of improving the services that we're responsible for. For me it reminded me of the importance of the involvement of patients in every step of their care. Actually, I'm really surprised and I'm really impressed with what's happened today. Um, I wasn't expecting the number of stalls to be here and all the useful information. I think it's excellent there's been an opportunity to interact with the, with the leaders locally. Uh, I think there definitely should be more things like this across London. And I'll certainly look out and come to any more that happen here in Hammersmith and Park. A good start. A very good start. But it's not an end in itself. It needs further development. I think it's splendid that this initiative has happened.